Warning, this game contains Doc with all of his adult language and isms such as racism, sexism, and other isms. You have been warned. Recording started, uh, so welcome everyone. I'm Leaf on the Wind. Doc, say hello. Hello, YouTube! Excellent. Doc, would you like to explain to the audience your absolute hatred of the Bavarian people? Um, I mean, I just hate everybody, basically. It, I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. White, Excellent. black, Mexican, Asian, doesn't matter. I hate everybody. I hate everyone. Equally. Equal. That's, Absolutely. that's why equal. I know it's really... It's not racism, because I hate everyone equally, including my own race. And, and that explains your absolute cool. hatred of the Bavarian people. All right, cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, well, I see it's saying you joined the game. Let's find out if that actually works. Yep. I'm getting the spinny thing saying it's loading, so. Should work. What was I doing last time? Uh, you were working on... Okay, we just got the iron factory up and working, or the uh, iron plate factory. Okay, that's normal. Um, that's right, where you told me to do 270, but you actually meant 240? I, I actually meant 480, but I don't care. Um, I mean, kind of thing. that's just two of my 240s. Yeah, that's basically what it comes down to. But, um, so you got that done. I know you're working over you're here welcome, on your blueprints. You're welcome that I'm that amazing, so. Uh, anywho, I know you're working over here on your blueprints, um, to accommodate yep. for... I think iron pipes or, or iron rods are next, and then I can do the, the all the other ones. Yeah, iron then rods I move to should assemblies. be next. Um, wait, yeah. do we, we have the iron plates on a pure node, don't we? Yes. Okay. Do we have another pure node nearby yep. that we can put iron rods into? Because that's going to be something we definitely need. Um, yeah, we're going to need a fuck ton of those. Um, that I'm not positive. The sucky part with the 240 in, it kicks it to two levels. Uh, and I'll like, I have to actually build a, like part one, part two. Well, yeah, but, th okay, that's, that's why I'm saying we should just not have a part one, part two. It should just be a part one. If we need more than that, we just double it. We just put I mean, another but then one. But it's on not top. efficient. It, it it's inefficient. How is it? okay? Ugh. If we overclock them, then after that, then it's not inefficient. Are we able to overclock it right now? Yeah. Okay, to the point where it'll work. Yeah. Totally. Okay, let's do it right. Then I'll just make the uh, the blueprint so that it overclocks. Right, why the fuck am I all jittery now? You're jittery. Yeah, it's all like fucking slow and shit. Hold on, what the hell is going on? Do I have the copper one already set up? I think we do. Copper ingots are in there. Okay. Work. So yeah, basically that's the way I look at it, is we just basically make a single story 240, and if we need more, we'll just double it. Oh yeah, okay, so we have a pure iron node right here. All right. So this, th right here is where we should be uh, iron rods, I'm thinking, because we're gonna need a crap ton of those. Okay. Where? Ping it again. God dang it, I just left it. Oh, that one right here? No, this one right here. Is there a oh, pure well, the one, one that has there? rotors is a pure one as well. Oh, the yeah, rotors that's is the a one pure that's one? currently rotors. Oh, hell yeah, let's yeah. just turn that into, we'll turn that into iron rods. Um, I wonder if I get a fourth fucking one in here. Hold on. Wonder. I was working over here, though. I was going to make this. This is an impure over here, and I was going to turn this into something. Um, Probably can't fit another one on there. Yeah, this was an impure. What the hell was I going to turn this into? I was just going to do building materials on this, is what I was going to do, though. 
what was I going to turn this into? Yeah, this is why we need to play more often. Um, yeah, I'd love to, but I got a lot of shit I gotta do. You gotta do a lot of shit painting. Yeah, I do. Like, a lot. I'm starting to get worried, actually. <laughs> God dang it, I screwed this up. See how this goes. Beautiful, I like it. Okay. Oh. oh. I didn't make a hole up here. Actually, you know what I should do? Let's put this here. Oh, that is fantastic. That's actually pretty good. Well, no, okay, I see. So that would put it... So let's drop it down. That is fantastic. Doc, come here and look at this. Hold on a sec. Look at what I did. You at? Coming. You see uh, the recent uh, thing that popped? Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, take a look at this. Ooh, look how nice that looks. This is Hold on. this I'm is up. perfect. Oh, I kind of like that. That I I think that operates absolutely fantastically. Run it like that. Why would we do that though? You can hide the belts underneath. They can just hang there. Yeah, I know that. Okay. That's so, a lift up from what? So, what well, basically, flawless? okay, come over come over to the copper sheets and I'll explain why I, do, I, I would want to do that. So, come on over here. So, we basically put this right here underneath, and then underneath it can move nope. this one over to here. Right up. And then we just do a quick hole right So there. we could probably put all of this shit underneath and just put all the lifts. Honestly, if we really wanted to, we probably we might be could. able to actually get a little bit. 
Uh, we can't really do that with the blueprint, though. No, we can't do that with the blueprint. I think just feeding in, though, this this would be a good way to avoid any kind of issues um, on top. You know what? I bet I could get four in if I did it that way. Or what? Or uh, constructors on the bottom. Oh, four constructors. Uh, maybe. Because you would still have to split No, up. I'm just barely too... Uh, well... Let's see here. No, I still think I can. No, you would have to. You would have to. I'm just barely off. You would have to have the splitters move underneath. Is the problem? If um. Oh, actually. No, I wouldn't. Okay, hang on, hang on. The hard part is uh merging all the lines. Yeah. Okay, hang on. So. Even then, that's not that hard. What if you move this? Okay, these? Wait a minute, what's, what is that? That's a splitter. That's a splitter. Wait. That's a splitter right here. Cause it looks Hold on, nice are right these now. two separate it's inputs? how I get the other ones to line up. Leave it alone. Nope, it's one input with the output right there. Or the other line to the next level. Okay, so if you mo remove this. And that's an output. Hold on. Yeah, that's that changes to this. Hold up. This doesn't look like that anymore. It's gonna look like this. So that splitter goes away and it hooks to the wall mount. That splitter's there so that I can line up everything else. Oh, so the splitter is gonna be removed. Yeah, this is how I set up all of them for at first, but that's what we decided to put the actual input wall input on this as well. Okay, gotcha. So that's gotcha. why I'm doing that. Okay, understood. The understood. export one though stays. Because yeah. this is where we want the other one to pop in at. I still and think there should. Not, I still think this should be. This shouldn't necessarily be removed, but there should be a wall here with the output. Because there should be a so separation could, between. No, because if you look at the hold on, let's go back up to the iron one because that's essentially what we have set up here. Yeah, I know. I'm totally. So with if you, you look at the iron one. We have it hooked to connect into one building. Yeah, we so... want to have separate buildings for separate pieces. Like yes. right now, that's a full. Um, you see what I'm saying? No, I'm, like if I'm you totally. Look at this one. I'm totally with you in like you have it all in one. I'm saying those should be separated. Like the smelter should be their own building. The constructor should be their own building. We didn't do that here, and it works really nicely. Well, it does until we have to expand and get more constructors in here, or something. Not really. Why would we need to do that? We build another thing beside it. That's the whole point of setting it up at 240. Oh, as, as I was going to stack them. Just add another one of these. I was going to stack them on top. So you could. I didn't. I wasn't doing that. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was going to stack them on top. So I mean, if, if we, we needed. Even, okay, but if we stack them on top, that makes it even more complicated. No, like we just put. Yeah, a because splitter. we have to have three for the fucking iron rods. I don't know about that. Because yeah, iron rods take, um, let's see, it's 15, it takes 16 uh, things. Iron rods. Not 16. Hold on, let me put this thing. How many is for 30? That'd be 9, 18. Well, that's at 270. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're, basically we're just putting a wall right there, it's, though. It's, yeah, because I can put 12. That's right. That's why it's goofy. I can okay. do 12. On one blueprint, I can't do sixteen or uh, the sixteen that we need on one blueprint. Now, oh. if we do this slightly differently, and I set it up, can I put the hold on? Because this might change things. If I can do the floor mount, hold on a second. Now, this yeah, so really here's interesting. Hang on, hang on. No, me... I can't put the floor mount without a fucking floor. Here's here's what I would. Uh, first off, why is there? A where the hell is this dismantle crate? I'm seeing it on my. HUD. What, where the hell is this thing? Is it it's a dismantle crate? There's a dismantle crate somewhere. Dismantle crate. Really? Yeah. Wait, what is this? Where? Oh, okay, hang on. It's over here. Oh, it's just on the ground sitting over here. Okay. It, it was six iron plates. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, so hang on. Let's say this. Okay, so do you want to try and get four constructors on either side? This and this need to be removed. 
you what then... needs to be removed? Say again. The belt and that splitter. Yes. And that splitter. And, and then, then you we can would pop it to... in. We would have you to pop move it in this beside it up a little bit, and then we would have to have enough to get a. Well, basically, hole. um, you could shift these over. Hold on. Well, yeah, I'm okay, do it over basically, here this would be your problem. Because I'm not gonna hold on. I'm not gonna tear this down. Hold on a sec. Look, you could fit four in here, but you have to. It's really fucking tight. There's okay. your uh, okay. first one. Okay. And then you can put four down. Hold on, let me put four down. Uh huh. Oof. God damn it. But see, the problem with this is it makes it very difficult to merge them into one line. Oh, yeah, that's virtually impossible to Afterwards. merge. I see why. It would have to go up like, and over. Essentially, yes. A actually, it would have to up and over to merge, which actually you could do that because you'd have your, your uh, lift right here. Because I've done it on the other ones. And you so, bring it over to on. one side. You don't have a lift here, though. That's the problem. This... So, like, even if I did that... Hold on. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. This. Look. You throw a merger into right here. And then you throw the lift here. Go across. Into another merger over here. Oh, and that I see what you're doing. You combine line. these two on this side. Okay. Yep. And then you would have a yep. center line. And then you combine it onto one. And then you have a center line here. But see, the problem... Oh, you could... Well, no, because you have your lift for your next row here. So you would have to merge them all on one line here and then get the lift to work. I don't think you can fit a lift on this one after it merges. Hold on, let's find out. Okay, here's a question. Here's a question. Hang on. And you can put a lift here? Hold on. Can I put a lift here? Hold up. Nope, I can't put a lift on the machine. It's too close. Too close. Okay. Let me see something here. Yeah, that's a little too close. You, you know, honestly, here's how I'm seeing this at this point. So, input and output are both here. I don't like that because you can't lift to the next level here by doing that. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, because you would, it, honestly, you would have to reverse it then. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, like, you could do the drop-down. Well, no, you can't really do the drop-down. So you'd have a merge in the center and come out the front. Or what? I mean, you could... And you do it. Hold on. Let me you you could definitely do it if you... I wonder um... if you could do... Well, you might be able to do a merger like this and then do a... Well, that doesn't So, do it, I, I... Okay, let's You'd do have this. to do... Could you do a merger like this? Hold on. We do a... Oh, no, yeah, the, actually, the center line this. would completely mess it up. Merge it right here. You know what I'm saying? That's not exactly lined up, but you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, We no, pop no. the uh, thing like this and have the line run out the top. Doesn't seem like that would be very efficient either, though. No, no, I'm totally with you. Honestly, honestly I You'd have to have it here. I think six. I, I I don't want to really fuck with this. Yeah, I do, think it's do twelve six. total in one constructor. I don't think you can do anything more. Do six and let's just make sure. Doesn't want to work out. Yeah, do six and let's just make sure that we're then able to. Then you basically um, do. Like it, we'll do it as six on each level, and then we just make sure that we can stack them modularly, and that'll be fine. Well, that's this is set up to do that then. Yeah. Already. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly what I want then. Let's just yeah, do that. Yeah, because this this gets a lift here, and that goes up to the next one, which will be this input right here. Gotcha. Yeah. So now, this... if we want to do walls and shit, I can do that as separate units, and and it works the same way. It just shifts it over a tiny bit. Honestly, I would say that. close it as much as you can, and we can just do module like. Not like what we did up here, where they're in clo they're connected to one each other, but we just like space I mean, them one block so apart nice, and though. then just link them. That way, actually, that's perfect if we do them separate that way. Because if we want to spin off ingots or something like that, we can just get a splitter or something in there and then spit them off into another into a manifold or something. Yeah, that would work. Yeah. Okay with that. So it, wall it in, I would say. Yeah, definitely. For, like, the standard setup. Like, these... So, also, I should note, these impures I'm making 
I'm treating these for building material only because they're in pures. So we basically they should only be used if we're using them for building materials. Does that make sense? Um, what? So the, I'm building like the thing I'm building over here, and the, the copper sheets I built yeah. over here. They're on impure nodes. Okay. I'm treating these like mini factories here, only for building materials. Okay. So they're going to go into a dimensional storage. Well, that fucking sucks. What? I gotta do this now. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying I'm doing? Oh, no clue. I wasn't paying attention. Of course you weren't. Okay, so I'm taking these impure iron and copper nodes, and I'm just making, having them make specific building materials. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Um... Cool. So that's what I'm going to do. Partially overlapping. Why would that partially overlap? That's making sense. No, I don't want. How would that not go through? Okay, this is impure also. How does it overlap the fucking thing? I don't know, what are you doing? Dumb as shit. How are, how are you breaking everything? Why the fuck would it do that? It's so goddamn stupid. Oh, I, I literally me. have no idea what you're babbling on about. Don't worry about it. Yeah, apparently, I need to. Doc's losing his goddamn mind. Uh, boxing this in makes this a pain in the fucking ass. Yeah? Okay. Why do you have to do this? Uh, because you touch yourself at night. That's besides the point. Okay, so... Either this way or this way. Let's see here. This way. Beautiful. 
That's curious. Oh crap, how do I change colors? Um, X. Walls. Can I put... So anyway, before we uh, got distracted in our stupidity about other stuff, whoops, uh, you were about to say something about something. Yeah, hold on a sec. What the fuck is his name? Uh, Peters. Since it's the nine years for election bullshit. Oh god, that was amazing. Colorado. Yep, Did you Tom. listen to the... Uh, the judge? Uh, oh, I listed a few things about the judge. Oh. I love everything that that dude said. <laughs> yeah, no. I listed a few things he had to say to her. Partly, also, she went on like a 40-minute rant or something. He's like, none of this matters. Yep. Kind of thing. And then he went off on her, like... You single-handedly had damaged the um, the uh, spirit of the election, or something like that, or the spirit of the um, of American democracy, like more than anyone else, kind of thing. It's like, oh damn! Oh, dude, he fucking laid into her it was so good. And he lays out like the whole time. He's like, this is not appropriate because uh, there's no mitigating circumstances, and blah blah blah. And <laughs> yeah. 
you fla- uh, um, what do you say, uh, flaunt it in front of, in the face of the court and everything else, like, so funny, for your own fame and shit. Yep. You're a charlatan. Oh! Oh, he called her a More charlatan? Of that. That's fucking amazing. Multiple times. Multiple wow. Times. Yeah, it was freaking amazing. Yeah, you have damaged this county, you have damaged this country, like, the whole nine yards. <laughs> that is amazing, I love it. So funny. Okay, I like the way this is looking now. This is fantastic, okay. Alright, let's see here. How do I get power over here then? Well, first off, where is my power plug? Okay. Oh my god, yes. I saw a bit the clip. Well, I should say I watched it. I listened to and watched clips of it. Oh yeah, no, that's uh, all I did. I didn't watch did the whole thing because I was painting. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I Every one of them were fantastic. Um, my absolute favorite part of the entire debate was when uh, Vance uh, said that the Haitians in Ohio were illegals. Yeah. And he said, actually, they're here legally. And he said, the rules were that you weren't going to fact check me. Yes. Hilarious. Yeah, it's like, hey, you said you weren't going to fact check me. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. Way, and then they muted him because they was bitching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suck a dick, bitch. It's like, I cannot believe. Like, this is the fucking kidding me on this. This is the vice president candidate. For the Republican like, Party. Like, literally is saying, hey, I'm supposed to be able to lie with impunity. Yeah, like, like how you. dare you interrupt me with facts? Uh, how dare you fact check me on my nonsense? Uh, that's not gonna work. God damn it! I, I gotta figure out how to get power down here. I really only needs a one twenty. That becomes problematic. Fuck. <laughs> All right, I gotta figure out something better for this. For the moment, you're just gonna go like this. All right, I got a question. Yep. We have two of these factories stacked on top of each other. Why do you suddenly sound hey? so much louder? I have no idea. Okay. Anyway, I lean back in my chair. I don't fucking know. Weird. Um. Okay. okay. So I put two of these factories on top of me on it. Let's say one produces. 100, the other one produces 100. How do we connect those two into a single port? One produces 100, the other one produces 100? Do we want that or do we want two ports 100? out the back? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, they both, and we need 200 total. Do we want to do a, a line out and put a, a merger there and bring the line down that way? So they All still right, spin on. out the Show, back I corner? need to see this. Hang on. All right, so come here. I'm coming. All right, where are you? All right, right here. All right, so this entire factory comes down and it exerts right here for a hundred. Okay. A hundred comes out there. Okay. okay. I'm just saying a hundred. That's not the right one, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. 100 so comes let's out say a hundred comes out here. Okay. We add the 420. It now produces 420. We put another one of these on top. We now have a hundred coming out right here. 
and we have 100 coming out up there. How do we merge those into a single another unit? Or does the next one just straight in, straight in? So, okay, so you're saying we have another we have factory here, that's going to be we'll put right here. here. And you want to yep. merge it. And then so we'll have 200 total out of the building. How do you want to merge these two? You want me to do, now here's the option. I can have all 200 come out right here. If I set it up so that it can receive one down. Now, doing that, come up to the second floor. Uh, okay, how do I get up there? You have to come to the line and jump across because it's yeah. fucking stupid. All right, we got to work on jetpacks. You so. haven't got off your lazy ass and got me the goddamn jetpack yet. All right, you see phase three there, motherfucker? Get on it. Hey, you're the one that's supposed to be doing this shit. You told me the fucking... So I could, Give me go in theory, add a merger here. Hold on, watch. Where? I add a merger here. Mm -hmm. I can then put the lift line right here on the lift. And have a lift come down into that merger. And have at the bottom of the next one, basically a line coming in. Pops in and says like, "Oh, it comes out to right here instead." Um, basically, what like, I would this do. This one does not. So, if I were to fully do this, so here's what I'm, my thought is: right now, I have 12 constructors. Yeah. What I need is 16. If I build a third floor to this, it'd be four constructors all merging into one line, so it pops out the bottom at the full amount. That uses all of the 240 coming into it. Mm, I see what you're saying. But that got me thinking: how do we do more if we stack another one of these on top? Okay, so this being so if the I do the four right in, here. I can easily do that. Yeah, the output right now is going to be like that on all of them. Okay, so hold on here. So well, like, first off, why the hell do you have a conveyor pole in here? What now? You had a conveyor. Wait, why are these two separate belts? What the hell are you doing? Because here? try and do it. Try and put it together. Try and put it together. Oh, it's letting you fucking do it. God damn it! Yeah, it kept fucking... telling me it was overlapping the constructor. What? Get off. Here, move. I want to try. I want to try. Okay, move. hold on. Yeah, show me this. Let me try. Let me try. Because I literally just did that. See, it's telling me I can't do it. Hit R. There. Straight mode. You're, this whole time, you haven't been oh, using dude. straight mode on the, the new, new thing they gave us? God. Whoa, I didn't even know that was a thing. What the fuck is straight mode? Yeah, that they fucking added that. That was part of all the notes and everything. What the fuck everything. is that? It's straight mode, dude. It's fucking awesome. Check. Okay, come here. Come here. Dude! Come over here. No wonder this is all yeah. fucked up. Okay, hang on. Oh, fuck you. My thing's perfect. Shut the fuck up. All right, so fucking watch this. All right, so check this out. So this is default. Okay? See how that what that's yep. going? Okay. Nope. This is straight mode. It auto puts in stuff? It auto makes it straight. It just straight lines it for you. I was so oh, confused. That's fucking so bad ass. I was so goddamn confused why this kept like looking so weird when I was looking at your blueprints. Like, why is this set up this way? You're not using goddamn straight mode. That's why you were trying to do it the old way where you had thing. to like fucking put poles and everything everywhere. Dude, that is so fucking badass. Oh my god, I was so confused. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm glad we got that figured out. Where did I have poles at? Dickhead? Okay, that explains why this was separated too, your front area. I couldn't figure that out. Like, why the yeah. hell were you doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh I was doing god. it the old way because I didn't know that there was, that was a fucking thing. Oh my god. It, Oh my god, okay. That's so badass. Alright, that's come, so fucking badass. Come over okay, here but really I, quick. that doesn't solve the problem though, so how am I gonna do this? Okay, okay. Um what you describe okay, so I would not add that as part of the blueprints. Um at that point, it would be something we at we would have to manually add in later. Okay. Because we're gonna it's like merging stuff at that point. Okay, come over here really quick. I wanna show you what I did with this mess. And I, I want you to know, I want you to basically tell me if it's like, if you like it. Because I used your 240 here. Where are you at? I'm 
iron. So, impure iron. Okay. So it comes into this. Oh. Okay. Goes up. So, follow it up. So then it cuts over underneath. And then goes in and enters underneath right here. Don't hate it. That way there's Don't no cross... It. Like, th th that way this factory is basically completely enclosed and we can just run along this entire way. Kind of thing. And then... Like, oh, I never connected this. Okay, hang on. So we connect this in. These are going to smart start smelting. You give me iron rod blueprint, and I'll just shove it on the back side here. And then that will go into... Um, that will go into dimensional storage for us. Okay. Makes sense? This will be the change. Yeah, no, I'll... We'll, we'll go ahead and swap that out, actually, right now. That's no problem. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you have. Oh my God! Yeah, we need to. We need to go back and get all these into straight mode. Holy crap! There's so many, <laughs> so many standalone belts in here. I didn't realize that's what you were doing. Oh, <laughs> I had no idea that that was a thing. I love it, Doc. I love it. That's hilarious. That's so, actually hilarious. All right. Well, anyway, where are we at on on straight mode for the blue or the um, blueprints for iron rods? Uh, I mean, you have one pole, essentially. I have to fix the iron rods. Don't fuck with the iron rods yet. I need all to right, fix all it. Alright, I'm not going to fuck with They're the not iron rods. They're not iron rods. I'm sorry. Iron plates have to get fixed. Okay, okay. I have to fix that. Well, give me, give me blueprints. Yeah, I'm working iron rods right now. Give yeah, me a sec. Give me iron rods. I'll get this up and running. Okay. This is, again, just building right. um, sort of thing, so I'm not even worried about it. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go... You just press R, huh? Yeah, R switch is building mode. That's the uh, same thing for, like, uh, just about every, like, the Zoop. That same sort of thing. Yeah. Cool shit. Right, so I'm going to fully enclose this now, then. All right, so let's see here. Um, I need to drop you off. I'm going to care about that. I um, want to let me do this now, though. Give me... I have it on straight mode. It's not letting me do it. Show me. Where are you? I'm on my blueprint. I'm literally trying to put it in. It's on straight mode. All right, let me see this. Pop off. It's saying partially over rip overlaps the blueprint designer. Okay, hold on. Get out of there. Out of there. Wait, is this an input or an output? This is going to be an output. Okay. What the heck? Yeah, so like, put it right there. You put it right here, I guarantee you connect the other part, no problem. Yeah, hang on. Is this the same thing down here? Alright, hold on. Let me yes. swap this out. Oh, I'm wondering, like, I'm wondering if it's in it. No, it works down here. Like, look at this. This works just fine. Yeah, I know. I don't know why it's not working up here. Well, actually, I take that back. Actually, Same thing. okay, hang on. The way you had it before, actually, probably the way we want to do it. The reason for that. Uh huh. Now this is complaining about partially overlapping, but it's not the other direction. Oh, that's weird. That is really freaking weird what I just had happen. Uh, whoop, didn't make it. Yeah. Okay, for God's sakes. Fuck this. Works better to just climb the stupid thing. Partially, this is complaining also. That's 
weird. This doesn't make any sense. Hang on. And if I do this, hold on. Yep, that's what, exactly what I was about to do. Go, from, Don't go from that side, though. Start. Start on the hole, and then go back. Well, I mean, how do you switch it, though? R. Or no, it's wait. It's saying it's going to drive in. Uh, what is it? Shoot. Hang on. Give me this. Um, and it was... Nope, that's build mode. That's that one. Um, nope. That is so unbelievably bizarre. I don't know why it's doing that. Like, I could get it to work down there because you were... We were running... Bringing it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it the wall itself? I, is it, the wall directional now? I don't think so. Try it now. Nope, same thing. Still the same thing? Yep. Uh, in all honesty. It'll connect to that one. Okay, let's give that a shot. Nope, same thing. Well, no, you connected it all. Yeah. Weird. Let's see something. Uh, give me this one. Nope, all of them same thing. So it's given the same issue on all of them. Uh, in all honesty, Doc, that might be something we just have to manually connect each time. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, it would suck. Um, that does suck until we get the, uh, 5x5 five five square. And then we can do this. <laughs> Still sucks. Yeah, totally with you. Um. Then I can put four in here. Yeah. So that's going to be an output on that side? Mm-hmm. Okay. That comes out with all the rest. So this actually is 12 of them. You need 14. You need four more. Okay. Or 16. I'm sorry. You need four more. Yep. So the four more would be uh, 60 ingots left over. Gotcha. And which is why I was trying to put it out the fucking in there. All right, that's how you do it. That solved the problem. You able to make it happen? Yeah, I think I got it set so that it'll work. I don't think I can hook anything to it. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, work, make so. do Hold with on. what we got. Hold on. Uh, test it real quick. Build a wall. Put a uh, splitter directly in front of the hole. Yeah, so now that's 100. And they connect the belt to it and see if it spits out the other side. Uh, on the blueprint or where? On just the wall. Here, I'll do it on the outside. Hold on. Okay. The wall. Foundation. Ah. All right. Put a constructor directly in front of it. Nope, that's not what I wanted.
it, that's fine. Yep, that solved the problem. You figured it out. Yeah, for some reason it's reading... Okay, so essentially what it's doing is saying that because the belt sticks into the wall and pops out the other side, it's overlapping the edge of the building. So it won't let you do it. But you can get around it by putting a splitter right in front of the hole so it auto-connects to the wall, and they connect into the splitter and it spits out no problem little bit of jank, but all right, I'll take it. A little janky, but that's all right. I don't mind. I can live with that. Yeah, no, I can live with that, too. I'm fine with that. It's dumb as shit, but that's all right. Doesn't that describe most of this game? I mean, this entire game is just, like, waste life. It's freaking awesome. I, I was going to say, we could go off, like... This entire game is just building factories, dude, in a virtual environment to increase resource production for an invisible thing. If this was how building factories in real life was, I'd be, like, all over this shit. Oh, God. I, I, I can tell you right now, the Earth would be doomed if this was how easy it was to make factories. Oh, 100%. 100%. Earth would absolutely you know be absolutely completely doomed. I know how we could do it. I know how we can set it up so that all you have to do is do a drop down. Come here, check this out. Okay. This is actually a really good idea. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. All right. Uh, where are you? What are we doing? On top of my second level. Second level? Okay. Now it's built in. We want to connect the second story and drop it into here. We set up this story. So we have the second floor, right? Oh. Normally. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If we do this to the second level on all of them, so it doesn't matter. So, like, the second, so, so the first is story is still this. That would be a, an input, yes. Yeah, okay. Cut. Okay, in which case... So what we would have to do then... How would we do it? Hold on, let me think this through. I like that idea, because then it's offset, so we don't have to worry about it connecting. Well, no. We want to do an input here, too. Instead of there, would we put it here? That's, uh, so honestly, it all lines up good. properly? I was going to say, put it up here. Drop it down in, and then it comes in. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It would drop. So the second one would be here, right? The second floor would be here. Yep. Well, third floor, let's say. Yeah, this third is third floor, floor now. I'm totally with you. It kicks out there. Yep. We drop it straight down to the second floor input, and it drops into the line that spits out here. Yes. Yes. That will work. Now, the only problem with that... We still have the problem of multiple um, levels having two outputs. Wait, why would that have two outputs? That only solves this one. So like this one, to make it full, I would do uh, four more constructors. And that fills this one, right? So now we have a full system running fully up, right? All what I'm, what I'm saying is every okay. So hang on. So this is the module setup. This is an output, and you put an input up here that connects into yep. this line right there. Yep. Like all you have to do is drop from this point then down to the one directly directly beneath it, and it just automatically goes into that line. We oversaturate the belt. They'll oversaturate higher the belt. than the third. 100%. If we go over the three. Over belt three. Oh, yeah, if you go over three, but then... say 240's the max? Well, yeah, but three's gonna be the max. So if we put another factory on top, that breaks the system. And we have to redo the damn inputs. 
Or we have to do oh, redo the belts. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so the... Oh, okay, hang on. Gotcha, so it's... 15. It's still... It works for systems where we want to fully... Like, the 16 constructors need it. Yeah. It works great there. It does not work when we stack it further, because you still have the same problem. Gotcha. You would just put these... Part 1 and Part 2 would be on top of each other, and then you would put Part 1 of the second one on top of Part 2 of the first one. And now you still have the export there doing the same thing. God dang it. Okay, I understand. And I don't know if there's a way to... I mean, you could... I mean, technically, if we really want to get stupid, we could do just a... a um, like this. It's not clean by any means. But if we did... Here. This is 12 constructors, right? This. Here's our, um, here's the wall coming out, right? Yeah. Our export, if we put a merger, say, here, it's this way, we could, in theory, do a lift here. It goes up like this. And then another lift that goes into the other port, like that. And that's how you would connect them into one line. I think we might be overthinking this. Possibly. I mean, if we're doing all everything on 240, I mean, technically you would still need... It would still be a 240 belt. Yeah, we are overthinking this. You just have multiple factories on top spitting out multiple units into 240. You'd have a 240 export here. You'd have a 240 export here on your 480. Mm -hmm. And you have, now you have two lines of 240. You need an input of 480 out. at that point to in order to handle it. You would need an input of 480, which we wouldn't have. Everything's off the 240. Yeah. Yeah. You just build another factory on top and have it just keep going. Yeah, or on, it. honestly, at that point, just put a splitter in at before it even comes in and just put a second factory next to it kind of thing. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do that. I like this. I like the input piece a lot, actually. I kind of like that. Okay, all right. Solves well, the export problem. G give me my iron rod can setup. Let's do this. That's what I'm working. I'm almost done. Actually makes me want to change this now. God damn it.
Oh, that may have just broken a lot of stuff. I don't know if it did. Alright, I'm just concreting this entire thing, and we'll figure the rest out later. So, I had my interview today. How'd it go? Great. Really? Yeah, honestly, it went really well. Unlike when I interviewed with Rockler, Good. where I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to risk Doc's job and lie to these guys. If they find me, catch me in a lie, that could be a problem for him. I'm like, I'm not going to risk that. Uh, in this case, it was Alex, and I didn't care, so I just lied my ass off. Perfect. Yeah, worked out really well. I mean, you probably could have lied to Biden. They wouldn't care. Un honestly, uh, you're probably Nobody's right. Nobody's going to fact check this shit. Yeah, you, one, you're probably right, but it's one of those where it's like, if my friend's job is on the line, I don't know if we're going to go ahead and do that. And I don't think my job would be on the line for that. Yeah, if I screwed like, yeah, that, that, that interview up so badly that it... Uh... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Your, your I mean, what they the said to me, different reasons. they called me beforehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's essentially it, you know? Alright, it's part one, I think, of four arcs. Oh, God damn it. Can you unlock... How many fucking tickets do we have? How many w tickets? Yeah, I need a catwalk. You need a catwalk. Uh, oh yeah, no, I was actually thinking about getting that. I don't think we have many. I literally just looked at it and I completely forgot what it was. We have three. 
I don't think we have any spare ones either. Let's see what it's going to cost. Uh, what is this on? Organization? No. No. Foundation? No. We need ten. Architecture? Architecture. Yeah, we need five. So we're too short. Oh, uh, that's a bummer. Yep. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to go get some uh, steel stuff sinking. And not quickly, but I will get it sinking so it's at least producing something at that point. Oh, actually, I might be able to make some a quick uh, some quick sinks as I do some DNA capsules. Um, let me see something here. Oh shoot. Okay. Um. Well, I see. I did a thing. Hmm. Screw it. Special awesome sink. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, even at that speed, I'm going to outstrip production. You know what? I'm not going to care. As of this moment, we need to sink some stuff. Let's see here. All right, I'm going to go make some quick DNA capsules. I'll see if I can get five to get you catwalks here. I can make 104 of these? Holy crap. Then I make 105 DNA capsules, and I'll go sync this, and I'll see what it does. Nice. So, um, after, so get rods done so I can get that building, then after that get screws done. Uh, we have a, we have a recipe, um, we have a recipe for converting directly from iron ingots to screws, so that's the one we should base it off of. Awesome, I'll do that one next. Yep. Yep. Alright, I got like 50 of these, let's go sink these somewhere. Organization, give me a storage container. You need to go like, I don't know, sure, whatever here. I go here to there. I will shove DNA capsules into you until you're happy. And then I have no idea what these are worth. Thousand coupons till next on that.
Oh my god. DNA capsules are worth like a thousand apiece. Seriously? Yeah. I did not know that. I just got ten tickets in like no time. That's pretty awesome. Holy crap. I'm gonna go convert all that and we'll get everything you want. Um, alright. I got the... I'll get the modern catwalks and the industrial walkways. So there you go. Fun fact. Architecture was invented when people began building buildings. If it had been invented slightly beforehand, perhaps more old buildings would still be around. Humanity sometimes lacks vision. What? I did not understand a word of that. Word of what? What she, what she just said. Alright, I'm just automating this process really quick. Okay, I did not realize how much we get from this. Just go do that, don't care. Holy god, that's amazing. That's pretty badass. Yeah, it really, really is. Holy cow. Yeah, we just got nine more from this. I did... Oh, wow. I apologize. If I would have known this earlier, I would have just lost it. Um, Anything particular you want right now? Um, not that I can think of. Alright, well, buy that stuff. Okay, bought more stuff. That's great. Holy cow, I cannot believe this. Power shards, let's see. Yeah, that is just crazy. I love it. Alright, let's see here. Alright, so really quick, I'm gonna get... In order to start getting on Phase 2 here and moving to Phase 3, I'm gonna set up some quick assemblers on this. Um, let me see what these do take to do. Where's my smart plating? Now we'll just slap down the assembler and call it a day. Reinforced iron plates, rotors, that's what I thought. Okay, I'm just going to get these running. iron plates and that they're going to go into the smart plating one to one so we should be able to easily get a thousand wolves no problem all right let's versatile frames i believe if i remember right comes from steel beams steel here and I know it. Yeah, alright. You you just keep on running. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, alright. Let's 
get me an assembler really quick. Versatile. Module frame steel beams. All right, so we got plenty of both. Okay. Automated wiring, stators, cables. What's my stator production? Steel pipe wire. Steel pipe quick wire. Eight per minute. And that equals cable. Okay. Well, all right. Versatile frames, module frames, 12 steel beams. Okay. I was hoping that was something a little bit easier to work with, like screws or something I can make right here. All right. You know what? We are... Both these are going to get redone. We're going to let this burn through everything. And then we'll work on it. Rod to set up for you. All right, thank you. No problem. Part one and part two are there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, be aware, I'm currently sinking all the steel here. I'm going to rebuild that entire factory, um, and I'm going to need, like I said, screws. But there's also a recipe for making um, steel pipe directly from iron ingots in there, and I'm going to need that one also. No pipes from iron ingots? Yep. Wow. We got like 20 tickets from that crap I've killed. Really? Yeah. I got eight more sitting right here. Like, I did not, I had no idea that was that good. Um, so nothing particular you want right now. Um, wood. You know what, I'm getting the paint finishes. Or actually, nothing foundation-wise you want, or? Um, hold on. Whatever. Fate finishes. Well, I'm doing math. I know it's hard. Okay. Let's go get iron rods up and running. Uh, you didn't put a door on this? 
Which one? The iron rods. No, the iron rods, the first part one has a door, part two does not. Where the heck's the door? Part one has it right on oh, the Oh, okay, I see, I see. It's yeah. an automated door. Yep, gotcha. Okay, yep. sorry. Okay, so you... And if we do a lift right outside into the building, it'll still, it'll look really clean versus in the floor. You still hide the belts coming in, but it would come up right beside the building into the way. It would look really nice. Okay. Now I'll take a look here. Okay. And part two goes on top? Yep, part two goes up right on top. Okay, gotcha. In which case, what I'll do is this. Walls, that's what I wanted. Um, how do I default change the color? Don't. Leave it alone. No, when, I'm placing, when I'm placing my walls. Oh, yeah, that you have to fuck with. Yeah. I, I don't even remember what I was trying to do here. Jesus. All right, and now somehow I have to get freaking on top of this. God, I want a jetpack. I don't think I can put a catwalk on this.
Is there no way inside? Wait, what the hell? Is there no way inside part two? There's no way inside part two. That seems like poor decision making right there. Why do you say that? Because I want to go inside, make sure I place this thing right. Why? And also connect power. Why? Uh, you have to take down a wall. <laughs> I love how you're like, oh yeah, power. Also, why aren't you using the double wall uh, outlet so we can connect them and directly? And put anything on the outside of the wall. It doesn't work? It won't let you. Okay, gotcha. It's outside of the... the uh, of course maker. it is. Yep. Alright. I hook a ladder to a regular fucking catwalk? Well, I'm taking that quote away right away. Oh, that I could fucking do. Why not? What are you talking about? Oh, you forgot to connect something. What did I not connect? One of the constructors. Oh, really? Yep. Which Part one? Two, one, uh, one of the constructors is the original orange, and it is not connected. Really? That's yep. Weird. On part two? On part two. Alright, I'll fix it. Finish part one of this thing. Remember with screws, the output can't be more than uh, 240 also. Well, I guess it could be 480 in theory. But we gotta match our belts. Alright, what now? The screws? Yep. We gotta match our belts. Has to be 240. Yep. Two, 240 max. Alright, uh, you wanna come take a look at iron rods really quick? I got it all up and running. In just a moment here. 100% efficient, baby. Trying to put catwalks on this damn thing and it's, it's being difficult. Are you putting catwalks on the constructors? I'm putting catwalks on the walls. Around the constructors. Okay. Can we put them on the constructors? I was gonna say, can you? That's what, that's my question. Yeah, but it's the one side only. Oh, gotcha. I don't know if I can do it on the other side. Yeah, that's I can only do it on the uh, entrance points. Don't work because I have a lift. Uh, let's see. Next. It'd be nice uh, if there was a way to do a, like a uh, foundation that has like an opening for stairs and shit. That wasn't stairs, you know what I mean? Like a wall opening? Yeah, no, I'm totally with you. Like a floor one, you know? Yep. So right now I just have to leave it open, which kind of sucks. But like, maybe if we had a half foundation, we do have a half foundation. Yeah, we have a half foundation. Okay, so I can do that, that works. So why is black and yellow the colors you decided for, um... For the iron ingots. Very simple. Very simple. I like black and yellow. That okay. was the first one I did. Totally all over it. I'm changing your windows, though, back to black and yellow, though. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I can switch. That's interesting. So yeah, um, you made the sides black and yellow with the windows. You did not make the front or back black and yellow with the window windows. 
On the on the uh, ingot one? No, on the uh, iron plates. Iron rods. Iron rods should be. I uh, know I did the whole thing black and gray for iron rods. Oh, uh, the windows are orange. Iron rods should be fully black they, and they, gray. So the the windows are orange, but on the side they're yellow. So I just made it match. That's fine. Yeah, default's orange, and I changed the windows to yellow on those. That's right. Yeah, totally get it. So let's see here. What swath are you using for this one? You said gray? Nope, that's not it. Six nine, six nine, six nine. Go into edit color. I'm not, I'm not editing color. I'm Go looking to the at thing and hit edit swatch. I, I'm, I know, I, the swatch is six nine, six nine, six nine. I'm, I'm assuming. And you think I'm joking, but I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm assuming that swatch one is what you do. Yeah. That's the actual gray color. Six nine six nine six nine. <laughs> oh, these finishes are fucking amazing. Those uh, copper ones, the ones that you just put in there, they're pretty cool again. Yeah. Like, unpainted uh, constructors are amazing looking. The gray, you mean? Yeah. That's, yeah, that's awesome. just, the, that's actually, uh, uh, what is that? That's Fix-It Foundation for them. Oh, is it? The unpainted? That's it. The yeah. finish? Oh, I didn't do unpainted. Hold up, that's a new one. I haven't looked at that yet. Yeah. Oh. I kind of like that, actually. Well, it's similar to the gray. It is very similar to the gray. All right, whatever. I don't. I don't. I can't care anymore. All right. Anyway, I like to fix the foundation for the constructors. Alright, since I can't specifically strap a goddamn, um... Dumb. Can't snap a, re a ladder to the, uh, the damn, um, catwalks. Okay. I'm not using the stairs because it takes up too much room or the fucking catwalk ramp. Come here and check out what I got here before I finish it. Alright, uh, coming. Uh, where do you... Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, I'm sliding right into this. Yeah, no, catwalks all the way around. I like it. Make make it a way for we, for, so that we can get up and I'm all over it. Like, I didn't want the ladder, but I understand. Look, you'll see it. All right, yeah, all right. I don't want I'll the, ladder the ladder either, but I think that's your better bet. Yeah, honestly, I understand. Totally all for it. I just don't see a better option. Um, so this ladder right here should be on the same side as that ladder. If possible. Sorry, what? So this Odd. ladder and the ladder to get up, like both ladders should be on the same side, is what I'm saying. Uh, 
it's not it's not possible it's not possible to do all right well whatever. once i completely redo the whole damn thing this right here fucks you yep that's what i was thinking and i'm fucking stuck that's what i was kind of thinking i was worried about that okay that's fine yeah i mean it is what it is all right i'm all gonna right, go so start this is, uh, dumping iron uh, plates right so there should be 160 coming out 20 and divided by 8. Or 20 times 8 is 160, so that should be a mark 3. I'm going to go start dumping stuff into dimensional storage. Change all these fucking belts. God damn it. He's above me. There's two above me. It's 60, 80, 100. The more I'm over here. Eight is how many it is. Two more above me. It makes 80. in should work. All right, yeah, I'm just going to put dimensional storage on top of this. All right, and that should be iron rods loading dimensional storage for us. Yes, it is. All right, perfect. Iron rod factory fully up and working now. Awesome. did walk or catwalk. Should I do industrial walkways instead? I don't know. Which one do you think looks better? It doesn't really make a difference, does it? I mean, one looks kind of cool. I don't know. I could do either. Doc, ladies and gentlemen, the man who cannot decide anything. Makes them a little thinner. Width wise. 
Fuck it, I'll leave a catwalk. I won't have to redo it. All these should be set up. All of them should be connected. There. Connected, those are all set. Back there. My god, I love this straight mode so much. Straight mode's pretty badass. I didn't know that was a thing. Sucks I can't put anything on the outside, I would put a thing that says input output on it. Oh, you can't put the signs on, can you? Nope, not on the outside. Oh, that sucks. Yep. Alright, iron plate is all set. Okay, D not what I needed. I'll I redo needed my, uh... No, I haven't done screws yet. I well, fix iron plates. freaking hell, get on it. I have an idea. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Oh my god, I love these finishes. I just made all the copper smelters look like copper. I love it. So I'm going to change the smelters in there too so that it, it's correct then. We actually have a copper thing. Yeah, we actually have a copper color. I freaking love this. Yeah, if I'd known that, fuck. I freaking love this. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, steel beam. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so here's a question. Should I build a standalone factory just for iron plate building materials? Mm. Probably, yes. Think so? And then this, like, this pure one up here we use in the factory production? Like, we'll start pushing that in to make uh, reinforced iron plates or something? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Absolutely. All the MP... Yeah, we should have a constructor for building materials that's, like, on impure. Okay. Okay. Note, I'm putting them on impure, but I'm also overclocking them so they go up to the 240 level. But it also means that they won't be constantly Idea. running unless we add, like, a... Uh, we add, like, a uh, sink to it or something. Which I don't think makes any sense to do. Like, these should be dedicated for our building materials. That's what they're meant to do. Okay. Alright, let's see here. I think these are impures over here. Impure, okay, what's this copper over here? Normal, this is a normal copper, okay. Impure limestone. All right, you know what? I'm going to get started on... Like, I got smart plating starting to process right now. I'm going to go ahead and get versatile framing starting to process so that we can hopefully get something going on here. I uh, want to get past phase two here. Basically as quickly as possible. And I say as quickly as possible as I get constantly... Constantly, um, distracted. out there for a sec. 30 steel beams, 2.5 module frames. All right. Ooh, second floor is going to be tough. The iron rod. How the fuck am I going to do that?
30 per minute? 30 per minute, okay. Um, do, 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 do. Power, 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 I need power. Then we all, all we have to do is send steel beams over here, which shouldn't be too hard. What the heck? I know I've been playing for two hours. I cannot care. Oh, this is actually almost done. Perfect.
All right, then we're gonna send stuff over here, and this will be steel beams. Massively overclocked this thing. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to have to head to bed here in about 15. Because I do have to get up and actually, like, work in the morning. Quote-unquote work. Well, I have to drive. See how well this works.
I don't know why it does that, it's fucking dumb as shit. What'd you break this time? Wait a minute, what? Where's my portable miner? I lost one? Oh, these are Mark 1s! Oh, God, okay. What am I doing? Let's just slap down a crafting bench. Nope, nah, that's not it. It was an equipment workshop. All right, the the iron rods, yeah, now have uh, the first and second level set up so that they have catwalks as well, and you can access the entire thing. Cool, great. I already built those. I'll try. I want to see one built. You should try it. Like delete them and try again, because I want to see how well it works. Okay. Well, that sounds like something I'm definitely not doing right now. I'm working on steel right cool. now. So, let's see here. Um, well, that doesn't sound like fun at all. Jesus Christ. 120. Yes, 120. Okay. So, 240 divided by 45. Uh, five and a third. Six times 45. 270. So, I need an extra... 30 out of this. Oh my god. There we go. That will be the 6. Oh my god, what? What did you oh break this god. time? This is gonna be such a pain in the fucking ass to calculate. For what? Screws? Yeah. I bet it is. Good luck with that. Let me know how it goes. I'm gonna have to have 19.2 to make it work. But 19.2 is gonna produce. <laughs> is that right? Honestly, with screws, Doc, you can probably. 975 screws if I did that. So it maxes out the belt real fast. I could do multiple exits, though. Um, I was going to say, you probably, honestly, I would just do a 240 out um, calculation. I would not bother. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, I would not bother trying to do anything else. God, yeah, these are all Mark 1. That's only 4.8, though. So five constructors gives me that 240 out. Sure. Which is uh, not even, a, like, even close that's a <laughs> all of the uh, all of the impure iron we could turn into screws with one factory build in the in the thing, and it would spit out two hundred and forty uh, screws for us. Fall for it. Maybe that's what we do with our screw production because we're gonna need a bunch of shit ton of screws, right? Yeah, um, but that it's much more efficient to do uh, steel screws. Making them from, uh... Uh, that's interesting. Why... So do you want me to do the screw one, then? God damn it, whale the thing. Steel, the steel... Screw, one steel beam makes 260 per minute. 
of right. screws. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, that's that's what it comes down to. That's where our primary production of screws is going to come from. I just need this for, like, a building one. And honestly, if you just want me to uh, do it, my, do it, do a single one uh, kind of thing where I just... I mean, I can make it. a blueprint for the single one, no problem. It's super easy to pull off. I'll just do it real quick because, I mean, I basically have it already made. Okay, I gotcha. It's literally, what is that? 240 was what? Four? 120, 270. Okay, so we do have it's five constructors. All right. All the clock. This one to 150. That way we get a total of six foundries running. Oh yeah, these can combine into it. Okay, I see what I can do here. Okay, okay, okay. Because it was 45 times six is 270. Yeah, so I can do all that with a single Mark III then going up. All right, Doc, I'm calling it for a night here. Oh, give me just a sec. this one set up and then we can call it because it's pretty much done definitely don't need that many coming in I'm running some overclock stuff just to get this like running or uh, uh, going at this point. Um, so I got um, what is it? Uh, smart plating running right now um, on a single assembler just to make it work. And I'm once I get steel back up and running, I'm gonna get that going um, over here for a versatile frame so we can get phase two. Might have to just manually make the uh, automated wire. Um, the automated wire stuff, but otherwise, yeah, we're running. Get up to phase two, start getting some better stuff here. Yeah, power has fallen dramatically now that we've redone a lot of this. Let's go see how well this one's running. So it's also one of these, Doc, I'm thinking about it. Like, I think we had this conversation before about how to get all this set up uh, and get this running. And with the with the fact that we have um, smart splitters, we can basically have our, like, I'm thinking about this now, and you're gonna hate me for this, but I'm thinking like we can have all of our building materials like be the priority for all production. Um, around here with the smart splitters coming out of it so they just like jut off into industrial into industrial storage or dimensional storage um and we can make use of all these nodes around here for whatever love it need. let's do that yeah I, let's I, absolutely do that like literally i'm thinking about this right now i'm like wait a minute didn't we do this once before like i could have we 100 percent did 
did we hundred percent did the old way we did it had uh the the units all in one building and they all came in from the bottom using smart splitters and at the end of the smart splinter was a ticket collector. That's what so it would just continually feed through there at uh sixty uh it would just shoot off to wherever it needs. So really you could do one industrial thing for each one and then put a smart splitter in front of it for whatever material we want in those and just have it sink everything else that goes through it. Sink it sink everything else and then dump those industrial ones into uh dimensional storage. Um Exactly. The, so okay. we never have to go back to it. We're just always building, no problem. Yep. And then it's always feeding it. So even if we run out, it's it's just continuously shooting it into our, our awesome thing. So we're just collecting tickets as it goes. Like it, it's okay if it's like one or two points. If we play four times, that's like 4,000 uh, points. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, well, whatever I mean, it is. That's, that's because it's just sitting nothing. there spinning it through. It, well, in terms of what we yeah. got right now, that's it's basically, basically nothing. nothing, but like. It just gets rid of it so we don't have to worry about it overflowing or just stopping the machines. We just let it go. Totally with you. We need to figure out where we're going to build our base then. Uh, same level as the factories. Uh, I want to go and over the by factories. the... Uh... Really? Yeah. Why? I want to look down on them. Like, honestly, I'm thinking over here. All right. Right up there. Oh, that'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll work. I put, like that. Put it all up above Let's there. Do that. Put the hub and everything up there. I like that idea. And we can make it look like a cool building too. We can build it on that plateau there. Oh god, what are we gonna do to ourselves? Okay, okay. This is an idea for another day, um, sort of thing. As of right now, these are running just fine. And I'm going to let them run for the moment. Um, sort of thing. I am really thinking at this point what we might end up doing is we might end up in a scenario where we're going to have like copper and ingots, copper and iron ingots just running around all over the place as we like send them off to separate factories and crap. But I think, honestly, I think building where well, we're absolutely going to have that is how we should do it. Like the way exactly I think how that's, no matter what we do that that's is happen. done. Exactly like that one. I think that's sixty in. That should put us at two forty out. Then. All right. I just. Oh, I haven't finished it though. Don't don't do anything yet. I gotta uh, change the colors. Oh God! You gotta get the colors right, Doc. Otherwise, God knows we how we'll the live with ourselves. To be. Mm, let's see here. We could do that. Oh, they're like silver, right? Screws are like silver. Yeah. So no, we're going to go with like a silver color. Well, let's see here. Hang on. Let me go take a look at what finishes are available if you really care. Um, customizer. We have a chrome paint finish, a carbon steel finish, and a Caterium paint finish available uh, above and beyond what we got. Hold on. Oh, I'll get right. It. We on. got steel walls. Oops. I forgot about this.
Oh, well, alright then. I don't want that. Protein, uh, spitter protein. I'm just getting stuff processing at this point to make m us more tickets. So I think you're gonna want all this like customization. Probably will. How are you doing on uh, medical stuff? I haven't done anything with medical shit. Okay. Do you have it? Do you have the inhalers or anything? Nope. Okay. Four left. Um. Okay, there's 27 ish in here. Uh, there's 20 in here okay. for you. So be sure to grab those shovels yeah, hold on hand sec. slots so you don't forget them. Alright, everything going good here? Yes. Yeah, that makes sense that they aren't working. Actually, you know what? Alright, you want to build one of the screw ones real quick to see how it works? No, I want to go to bed. It's 11.10 and I have to get up at 6.30 in the morning. Alright, hold on a second then. Where is it at? What? A hundred twenty-five or whatever medical inhalers. Where'd you put them? Oh, they're in the uh, what you call it? Uh, the personal box in the hub. Yeah. Wait a minute. Do we have? Do we have dimensional storage already on this? Did I not? No. 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 Yeah, that's, that's screws, that's come down there. No, we do. Where the heck do we have rotors in dimensional storage? Probably over by my base. One that I made. Uh, no, I don't see a dimensional storage there. For it. Really? Weird. Right, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Oh yeah, it's giving us coupons. That's what I want to see. Alright, I might go hunting in my off time. Just to like get a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of like animal remains. I'll go with you. Beat the crap out of stuff. I don't want to go with you. No, I want to build things. I want you to work on the goddamn blueprints. If you want to be a bitch about them, you're going to build them all. Yet. Man, that's fine. I've been doing that. All right, cool. Let's call it for a night. Uh, not yet. Hold on. Slam that into a hand slot. Ah, that's that some bitch. There we go. I have a steel one set up, or a screw one now set up as well. All right, I see it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, that should work just fine, just like the other ones. Beautiful. I'll pop it on top of the uh in It's in basically off the other ones there. Yeah. Alright. Calling it for a night, Doc. Alright, let's do it. Alright. That was fun, man. Yep. Good night. Ending record. <laughs>